In this chapter, we will have a look on triplanar projection. For this example, I'm using scanned 3D model with have UV mapping. And I will use random texture, which I will connect into the diffuse color. As you can see in render view, texture looks stretched and incorrectly mapped. For mapping texture on 3D model with have UV coordinates, is responsible UV projection. Select material tag and under projection section, you can choose type of UV projection. Currently is used spherical projection. Let's switch to cylindrical projection. As you can see, cylindrical projection is not working correctly as well. Let's try flat projection. We are getting totally different result, but again projection is not working correctly. If you are working with complex objects with half the UV, try to use Redshift Triplanar projection instead standard projection types. Triplanar node you can find under utilities section. Drag and drop Triplanar into the shader graph. Connect Triplanar node into the diffuse color. Remember that Triplanar projection always overrides other types of projections. As you can see in render view, Currently, triplan are projecting on the object single color. For better example how triplan are works, I will turn off option project same image on each axis. And now you can see the triplan or workflow using three different X, Y and Z axis to project texture or colors. Axis X projecting red color, axis Y projecting green color, and axis Z projecting blue color. Of course, all those colors you can change for any other color combination. Also, you can use triplanar projection for creating object masks. But first you have to use color splitter node. Connect triplanar output into the color splitter input. And now we have three different channels with three different masks. Here is how looks output from our channel. Next is output from G channel. And last is output from B channel. Outputs from those three channels showing how works triplanar workflow. We can control smoothness of those masks with blend amount parameter. Lower values produce sharper looking results. Higher values produce smoother looking results. We can also use blend curve parameter. This value determines the power curve of the axis overlap blend and can be used to tighten or slacken to blending effect between axis colors. In this example, I'm using again basic setup with triplanar node connected into the diffuse color of material. Let's change image X color of triplanar node. And I will use the same color on each axis. As you can see, image Y and image Z is not active anymore. So remember, if you are using the same image or color for all axes, you will control image X only. But I'm pretty sure that you don't want to use triplanar mapping just for simple color. Main reason why to use triplanar node is texture projection. In project files and links PDF, you can find links where you can download free textures. Connect texture node into the texture image X. In render view, you can see the triplanar projection projecting the same texture in X, Y and Z axis. And finally we are getting result which has no problem with stretching as compared to different type of projections. Let's try different texture now. And again we are getting interesting looking result. Let's try one more texture. On those small details you can see the triplanar projection eliminates stretching and is very useful. And now you can control texture scale or texture offset if you would like change texture size or position exactly as I explained already in texture node chapter. If you have not seamless texture use mirror U or mirror V as I'm using in this example. And now I will show you how helpful is blend amount of triplanar node. If you have this kind of sharp looking transition use higher values of blend amount. As you can see in render view, projection blend now looks much smoother. Let's connect all three textures now. I will use all three 
X, Y, Z axis projection with three different textures. And if I would like to use different texture for each axis of projection, I need uncheck options, same image on each axis. As you can see in render view, now we are getting different result and three different textures, giving us many more options for final look of our object. We can also control projection coordinates such as scale, offset and rotation separately for each axis. Just be careful about big differences between scale values of each axis, because as you can see in render view, it can produce compressed or stretched looking results. Offset parameters control separately X, Y, Z projection offset, similar workflow as using noise offset. You can use positive or negative values as well. Also, you can rotate with your textures and you can have different rotation for each axis of projection. You can use positive or negative values, depends on direction of rotation what you would like to use. Next is projection space type. By default, triplanar projection using object space type. Use object type if your object has any kind of animation and you need to have your texture sticked with the object. For a projection space type, you can use for static objects, terrain or large environment. And reference projection space type use if your object using any kind of deformers. But the most common projection space type is object. And here is one more example how looks texture node output with how mirror you and mirror we. And now with texture mirroring. Also how blend amount and blend curve helping with texture blending. And how triplanar coordinates affecting texture scale, position and texture look as well. So now you get an idea of what everything is possible with triplanar projection.